you do. Thanks for a marvellous studio audience who's come to spend Christmas with us. Thank you very much indeed. A very Merry Christmas to you at home and a Happy Moo Year from Bully. <laughs> so, that'll be all. Thank you very much indeed. Now, as you know all at home, we've been doing this for years now, it's a special game of Bullseye tonight. The rules are the same, but the game is packed with celebrities and all the proceeds of the entire show go to charity. OK? Let's get on with it. Here we go, our first pair tonight, and the audience here are wondering who the pairs are. For all the Essex girls, the two Essex boys. Here they are, the World Masters champion, Rod Harrington, and turning the clock back to the comedian's days, but now from EastEnders, please welcome Mike Reed. <laughs> Yay! Welcome, Michael. Nice to see you, sir. You, Brilliant. Thanks very much for coming. We're so pleased, I've got to tell you, because every guest we asked to be on the Christmas show have agreed to do it. Rod, elegance brought a new meaning of the word fashion to the world of darts. Oh, and he's a good player as well. We're delighted you're with us. You're going to get the questions right, aren't you? Don't let us down. You it's sure? for charity. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Of course I am. Only personally with O-level, sir. <laughs> yeah, all right, no problem. <laughs> there you go. Mike Reed and Rod Harrington. Thank you, boys. <laughs> Pleasure. Pleasure. Can we introduce you now? Uh, the glamour part of the evening is the lady of, who's the holder of the bronze bully at the moment, Mandy Solomons, and a young lady who appear, who's appeared in and is appearing in Woof, Bergerac, and was in That's Love. It's Mandy Solomons and Lisa Goddard. Yes! Whoa! Whoa! Hi, Mandy. Nice to see you. Hi, Lisa. Lovely to see you. And you? See what I mean? We got everybody we wanted. Marvellous. <laughs> You've got the bronze bully at the moment, haven't you, madam? Yes, that's you, right. You played very well. We had a quick rehearsal this afternoon. She was playing extremely well. You. Lisa, you'll answer all the questions. I know you will. <laughs> you've, you've run the gauntlet actually working with children and animals, haven't you? I really? know. I seem to do that all the time. But uh, it's a success, isn't it? Woof. Woof. Okay. Great oh, success. Marvellous. Yeah, We're absolutely thrilled to bits. Thank Let's you. Let's hope ladies rule OK tonight. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Mandy Solomon and Lisa Goddard. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I came here, Jim, yes. to see your embouchure. Did you really? Mm. What's an embouchure? That's the trumpet. Trumpet player's you... lips. <gasps> What's this about this? <laughs> oh, I think, oh, go on. I don't know quite what that means yet. Go on, Jim, Lisa. Can we uh, bring on stage our third pair tonight, throwing for charity and hoping to do very well? You can't get better than the world's number one, and it's Phil Taylor, and on parale, parole, I should say, on parole from Radio One, the inimitable Steve Wright. In you go. What about this? What? <laughs> Hi, Phil. Thank you, nice yeah. to see you. Merry Christmas. Hello, Steve. What can I say about this? Steve. What can I say? What hey, can you say? Well, you're working with the world's number one tonight. He's my man. This is the man. Yeah. Now, he's the man who's going to get all the all the scores, and you've just got to answer the questions. Lovely all, the, all the money. Pardon? Lovely smashing super, Chief. <laughs> now, listen. I haven't said that for seven years. You, you do it on your programme and you say, lovely smash, look at it. And no. I haven't said it for seven Jim, years. Jim, we won't do it anymore because I love you. Honest. Oh. And we all love you at Radio Really? One. We well, do. That's lovely smashing soup. <laughs> Round of applause. Here we go. Phil Taylor and Steve Wright. Have a good night, boys. Do well. Have a really good night. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome the star of our show. What's this? Direct from a successful tour of the Arndale Shopping Centre in Batley, hey. the one, the only, the are. fantastic Tony Green! Wow. Hey. Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. No, you want right. to talk to him? You go through me. <laughs> What's this Mike about? Hart. What's this? Sid Shyster. <laughs> Agent, artist representation, and plumber to the trade. <laughs> if you want to talk to him, you talk to me. Well, what do you mean? What are you going to talk? What, what am I going to talk to him? What, what's the matter with you? What, well, what? Jim, I'll make it. <laughs> That'll be fifty quid, that. Eh? What's that? Because he spoke. He spoke then. Well, that's a bit off. Hey, where's my, uh... That's what I was going to say. No, no, no. Hey, a boy. Hey, just a minute. What do you call this? I'll tell you what you call that. What? That's your BFH. Now, clear off. Go on. You need to take that stupid jacket off. Go on, be quick. Go on. Get off. Right. 
we have sorted out two hundred greenhouse I'll tell you, we'll have no more of that. Right, our Christmas edition. Christmas questions. Over there, our star artists, and over there, our star artists. Just to remind you at home, questions in the first round, even on this Christmas special, are worth £30 each. We'll play the game. Mike, choose a subject for Rod. Show business. Sh well, absolutely, Mike. Show business we'd like, please, Rod. That's a bullseye! Oh, you got it. In 1975, for £30, Mike, which butcher laid an egg which turned out fine in the end? <laughs> That's me, isn't it? That's really? Me. Yes, Frank right. Butcher. Go on. Ugly duckling. Right. For, you've got £30, that's fine. Yeah. For another £30, if you can sing the first eight bars, I'll give you another 30 quid. There once was an ugly duckling with feathers all stubby and brown six balls. Adam and Dave. You got sixty pounds, well played. We move on. What do you think, Lisa? Choose a subject for, for Mandy. Trumpets. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry, trumpets on the brain. Uh, faces, please. <laughs> That's two hundred pounds. Bullseye again. Whoa. Bullseye. Lisa, yeah. this is Faces. Yeah. Look at your monitor. Yeah. Which famous star is that? <laughs> um, me. That's me? That's me. On the left? Yes. <laughs> no, we wanted, we wanted the name of the kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> Skippy. That's right. Yeah. Now, can we have, for another £30, yeah. can you give us the, the Skippy sound? Oh. You know the, yeah, right, yeah. oh, not singing. Yeah. <clears throat> Skippy, Skippy, Skippy the bush kangaroo. No, no, uh, no, I didn't. Wait a minute. No. No. no, I didn't, Lisa. No, no. That's not the sound we wanted. No. We wanted the sound of Skippy. Oh, oh. That's it. <laughs> you got another £30. That's fine. We move on. All right. <laughs> T. Bright. James. Esquire. Yes, Spinster sir. of this parish. Um, Choose a subject. Uh, sport. Sport we like. <laughs> yes, that's a ball. Two hundred pounds. Well done. <laughs> In Viz magazine, what species is the star footballer Billy? Billy the fish. Billy the fish is right. Gives you another thirty pounds for an extra thirty pounds, Steve. Give us two bars of that Banana Rama song, that fabulous. Na na, hey hey, kiss and goodbye. That's the one. Now, na 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 na, na 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 na, hey hey, goodbye. Now let me just check that with Bully. Let me check that with Bully. Right, give you another thirty pounds. Right, that would do us nicer. We'll get away with that. <laughs> At the end of round one, in game one, all three pairs, £260 each. We move on to round two now, where the questions are worth a little bit more. Mike, choose a subject for a rod. History. History we'd like. <laughs> That's a bullseye! Oh, another 200! <laughs> Fairly serious question, Mick, with, with a Christmas flavour. In which year, during World War I, did British and German troops lay down their arms and play football? That was 1914. Is right. That's about uh, 40, nearly quarter past seven. Absolutely right. You've got that right, sir. Thank Give you, you very much. Pounds. Thank you. That's all right. Well played. Well played. Lisa. Yes. Yeah. Choose a subject for Mandy. Uh, books, please, Mandy. Books we'd like, Mandy. She'll do it for you, no problem. Yes, 100. Well, well played, done. Mandy. Well played. In Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, who was the name of Ebenezer Scrooge's partner? Shh. No. Bob Cratchit. Well... No. Stay um, the lights make... Tiny on Tim's father? No. Well, now, that, no, the lights on... You're in a bit of trouble there. With the, you press the bonus button if you know the answer. Oh. Mike or Steve? Yes, Mike? Marley is right, sir. Steve Wright, Esquire. Choose for Phil. Uh, let's have Britain, shall we? Well, absolutely. Why not? That's a bullseye! Two hundred pounds! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 
Who popularised the Christmas tree in Britain? Well, it's not Doc Cotton. No, it's not Doc Cotton. It's it's a. He lives in a, a square. <laughs> oh, you're bullied out. The light could come on here. Oh, Mike. Hi, Albert. That's right, Prince Albert. You've got a fifty-pound bonus. Well played. Whoa. At the end of round two in game one, we have the scores: six hundred and ten pounds. Mike and Rod in the lead. And we move back on now. Here we go. The question's worth one hundred pounds in round three. Mike for Rod. Oh dear, oh dear. Places. Right. This is for one hundred pounds, Mike. See how Rod does for you. <laughs> no, that's in affairs, but fortunately the subject's still Ooh, there. So there's no bonus, but you get a question, Mike, because it's still there. It's for hundred pounds. Which motorway, Mike, cuts through the area of natural beauty known as Christmas Common? M40. Oh, no problem. £100 you've got, sir. Right. Move on. Lisa. <laughs> choose a subject. Choose one that's lit, uh, um, Lisa. Words. Yes, words we'd like. No, unfortunately, it's gone into books. Subjects. Subjects oh, no, gone, so we can't ask the question. We move on now. The pressure's on a bit now, Steve. What do you think for Phil? Words. Words we'd like, Phil, please. That's Sir Paul's on. Two hundred pounds. <laughs> For one hundred pounds, Steve. One of the gifts brought by the wise men is the transparent gum exuded from the comifora plant. Myrrh. 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 Is right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. The end of game one. We've got £360 for Lisa and Mandy. Steve's in there with, well, Mike and, and Rod have got £710, but Steve and Phil are in the lead at the moment with £760. We are absolutely delighted. Game two, we asked the three dart players to compete in three rounds of darts against each other to win for the partners a question. And the value of that question is the winning score. So it's pounds for points, all for charity, remember. The best of luck to all of you. Over to Tony. OK, Rod. Best of luck, mate. 20. 20 and 20, which is 60. There you have it, Mandy. 60. Five. Five. And 20. 30. So the score to beat. Phil, just 60. 20. Travel 20. And one, which is 81 and takes the first round, Jim. Steve, it's worth 81 pounds to you, sir, is this? The word puff, Steve, the word puff darts championships was last held in 1938. What is puff darts, spelt P-O-U-F-F? Puff darts. They bl blow the, uh, the dart into the, into the board. Right, you got it, 81 pounds. <laughs> this gives you, no problem, 841 pounds. You're in the lead. Back to Tony. OK, Rod, round two. It's one. Twenty. And treble twenties.